Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt, and today I'm going to be doing a little something different from what I usually do, which is playing games. I'm going to be making a tutorial. And, um, everyone knows when you have Steam games and you use them, you can hit Shift Tab to access Steam Community, you can see your friends list, you can browse the web from it. It's real nice, but in, let's say, what I use a lot, uh, emulators to play, like, old N64 games, I can't do that. You know, I don't get that, I don't get that capability to talk to my friends. It shows I'm playing a game, that game. Um... I mean, or can I? Because actually, I figured it out. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to do that today. So let's say I want to do something like uh, Super Mario 64, which I already have. So what I'll do actually is I'll delete this. Uh, delete, because as you see, it's a shortcut. Okay, because you can't get it through Steam. I mean, you can look it up on the store uh, in 64. I mean, you're not going to get anything, all right? So you, what you want to do is go to your library, add game, add a non-steam game, which just can work for all things, as in Minecraft, it'll work just as fine for Minecraft, any other game that you have. Only th problem is going to say it's going to play Plank, well I'll show you when it comes up, okay. Um, so it's not going to probably come up there, so like as mine, you go look for your Project 64, is what I'm using, and that's in my program files. Uh, so let's say I click that, open that up, add select the program. Okay, now it says Project 64. Um, where'd it go? Okay, <laughs> I found it. Um, so you edit the properties. Let's say I want to name it to Super Mario. Which one did I pick? 64? Yeah. Uh, I think that's the one I deleted. E yep, that sounds about right. Okay, so you know it's going to open that up. So I name it Super Mario 64. And uh, so when I open it, uh, okay, I get my whole list. I mean, I can play any game. But then I open Super Mario 64. And there's other ways I think to do this, which I've seen online, but they're really complicated and hard to do, which I don't like them so much. Um, because one, they didn't work for me, and I just didn't like it as much. It's me, but, Mario. But uh, as you say, you know, it's me, Mario. And then boom, you see at the bottom Hello. right, access Steam Community while playing. Shift Tab. I get access to my friends list. Anything I can browse the web. Let's say I get stuck on a part of the game. Browse the web. Look it up on Google. What I gotta do. I can check my friends list, see who's online. I can talk to them. See, I can message, message cat dog right here. Yo, what up? It's Mario 64 in this in this piece. Yeah. Okay. And see, it's it's nice. You get that you get that ability to play with your only 64 games. Um, uh, you could also hook up controller to Project 64. So I guess I'll show you how to do that. Um. Really, if you have a controller, as I got this Pro X controller, all you do is up, you, oh wait, up, down. You just kind of set on your button path, and uh, it should work for you. Uh, if you can't, I mean, you can go look up a more descriptive, but that's how it usually works for me. When I plugged it in, it just downloaded the drivers. I didn't have to use Motion Joy or nothing like that. It just downloaded the drivers, and, uh, and then, I mean, you might want to go uh, do some, like, whatever it's called, Calibration and which way you can do that on Windows 8. You can just say game controller and You have to type it all out settings and it comes up USB game controllers Pro X properties uh, Settings and you can set cal calibration. You can also test it out. Uh, it's worked on all the controllers I've used for it that way for 64 other games a little more complicated, but for at least project 64 That's how it's working and along with game like dolphin emulator stuff like that uh, It all usually works the same uh, you can edit your audio, make it really loud, like that, where you can't hear me at all, and then make it really low, where you can hear me. <laughs> Alright, um, so also if you can guess, it looks like I'm be making some pro uh, Super Mario 64 videos. I've actually never played this game all the way through, so this should, this should be pretty fun. Um, but I hope this helped out with, uh, any like situation like this you can do it with any uh, any game I can do it with Starcraft 2 which is what I did I did it with Super Smash Bros so when I open it click on Super Smash Bros and as you can see here it says uh, in non steam game Super Mario 64 well it hasn't refreshed to that yet but you know what I mean it's gonna it's gonna show this okay it's gonna do it eventually it's just lagging on my uh, screen so um, I hope this helped guys I'll see you guys later Peace out.